and welcome to That's Just Prime. And today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Rescue Bots Roar and Rescue Optimus Prime. And I love this toy. This guy is so cool and so much fun. Uh, before I get started with the figure itself, I'm going to do something that I don't typically do very often. But I'm going to bring the box in. And because there's something very peculiar about what's going on with this figure. Now, this is this is a new release for the Rescue Bots figure. And it, as you can see, the packaging says Transformers Rescue Bots. Easy to do Optimus Prime. If you go around in the back here, you can see the... Uh, Got to go a little higher there. You can see the Roar and Rescue logo right here at the top. But what's, what's really weird or, or interesting about this figure is that it actually says Optimus Prime. And I haven't been able to find a whole lot of information about this figure online. I know it's brand new. It just came out. However, there is a prior release of this figure, and it came out back in May, and it's this exact same figure, but it's enormous. It's a lot bigger than this. It's, it's a good five, six times bigger than this thing is, and uh, I'm actually eager to get that one as well. I haven't picked it up, but the interesting thing is that the bigger version of this figure is actually called Optimus Primal, whereas this guy is just called Optimus Prime, so it's got, it's kind of hard to, to kind of figure out exactly what it is that I want to put on the title card for this guy. So, uh, for the purpose of the review and because he's got a a previous figure before him, I'm just going to continue calling him Optimus Primal and go with that. Now, Optimus Primal here, as you can see, he's a T-Rex. He's a very cool little T-Rex mode. Uh, here in T-Rex, he's approximately seven inches long and about four inches tall right here at the top of the uh, uh, of the back here. And as you can see, um, not a lot gone going on here other than just the T-Rex mode in the classic red and blue. Um, he does have some articulation. If you go up here to the... To, I, I don't know if you call this articulation or action feature, but if you go right up here to the top, he's got this blue panel here. You can press this down and it'll make his uh, smokestack... He's got smokestacks for ears, which is I find kind of cool. But if you press the button, the smokestacks will move forward, and the jaw will open and close. So you've got that chomping action there, and I find that kind of cool. You can also use the smokestacks themselves if you want to do that. Uh, going around the figure here, you can see he's got a pretty cool little uh, dinosaur mode, T-Rex mode. Um, that's it for articulation. Nothing with the tail. You can move the tail around, but you don't really want to because that'll make the robot head pop up. So you kind of don't want to do that. Um, I do wish they would have put some articulation on the legs here, just kind of, of, you know, not go, don't go crazy, you don't have to do knee or ankle or anything like that, but I think an articulation at the hip, just to make the legs go move forward and back, I think could have easily be done with this figure, if you see here, and uh, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Other than that, I really like the, the, all the detail, all the technical robot details on this figure here, I really like that a lot. I do kind of wish that they would have painted this side of the T-Rex. Um, this side is all red, and to be perfectly honest, I actually prefer the completely red side. I was actually debating how I was going to pose the figure when I started the video, if I was going to go to this side or that side, because to me, this looks more convincing as a T-Rex than this does, because, you know, you've got the windows for the chest for the robot mode and all of that, and that's kind of giving it away. So I actually kind of like this better, but... I do wish they would have painted everything because since you do have to have the windows on this side of the robot for his chest, it would have been nice to make it symmetrical and just kind of, if you look here on the side, you can see there's some panels paint, or not painted, but molded in. You got these two little square panels here and you got the little yellow or the little square on the center here. So I think it would have been nice to paint them both black and the yellow in the center just to match the other side. I think that could, that would have been possible and I may go and do that myself just to kind of make it symmetrical. That way, that's not so much as a giveaway if he has it on both sides. That's just me. All right, getting to uh, transformation is very, very simple. You want to go ahead and just stand the rope or the T-Rex up facing you, grab him by the top here and turn him clockwise. And he kind of does his automorph transformation. One step transformation, easy to do as the package says. And here, you have T-Rex, Optimus Primal, in robot mode. And I absolutely adore this robot mode. I think this looks so, so cool. Here in robot mode, he stands about four and a half inches tall. And he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. Um, the would be tail that becomes the arm on this side, it's, you can see the details here. It kind of looks like a drill arm, sort of. And this arm came down for the robot mode. And then he's got a little spring-loaded kind of elbow there. So... You can move that back and forth, and that's about it. You still have the function on the mouth over here on this side. 
So you can use this claw on, on the side over here. You can kind of use that as a hand. Other than that, no articulation. The head doesn't move. Uh, the waist the waist only moves for the purpose of the transformation there and no hips again I think they could have put some hip articulation in there easily, but It's 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 intended for the younger crowd And it's a very simple low pros price point on this figure and I think it's absolutely adorable I think it's really really cool and one of the things I'd really love about this is That I don't know about you, but to me this calls back to Beast Wars Megatron an awful lot you know, if you remember Beast Wars Megatron, the original, uh, the first iteration of Beast Wars Megatron, his right arm became the head of the T-Rex, and he used the jaw kind of as, an, as, as, a, as a fist, sort of, kind of like that. And then his uh, right, or his left arm would become, uh, could come out of the tail. Now, in the cartoon, he could take his tail off, and he had a proper arm. But most of the time, in the cartoon, and the toy itself, had the actual tail as the arm much like what you're seeing here. So I really love the callback that this does to that Beast Wars uh, Megatron. It's really, really cool. Again, very cool little figure. Uh, this guy is in stores right now. It's retailing for approximately $10. So it's a, it's a fairly inexpensive figure. It's a lot of fun. It's a very simple transformation. Something really fun to just have you know nearby whenever you're fiddling with something. It, it makes a great little desk toy just to have him on your desk when you got a minute or so you're waiting for files to download. You can just kind of fiddle with this guy. It's very easy to play with. And it's a lot of fun. I absolutely adore this figure. So if you're into this kind of thing, absolutely go out and get him. In. He's in storage right now, so go out and get him. I think that about covers Transformers Rescue Bots. Easy to do. Roar and Rescue. Optimus Prime. Optimus Primal. Whatever we're going to call this guy. We'll find out soon. Uh, <laughs> please, uh, please leave me a comment. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.